In this session, I will talk about a new feature from Test Project that allows us to share our tests across the globe to anyone. It can be a friend, coworker, or client. We can share web, mobile, and API codeless automation test scripts, then generate code for those same test scripts to Selenium and Appium. I'm gonna show you how to share a test and how someone can share a test with you, then generate code. There are two places you can go to find more information about the new test project share center. First is this blog by Mattel. Share codeless automation with anyone and their release notes from version 65. Sharing is caring. To access the share center, first we log into the automation platform, then select this orange icon. We see invite people to test project that allows us to add a team member by entering an email address, then our team member will receive an invitation link. The Share Center also lets us manage a test in one place with two options. The two options are Shared With Me and Shared By Me. Shared With Me is a way for anyone to share a test with us. Shared By Me is a way for us to share a test with other people. The best way to think of Test Project's Share Center is to imagine a hub for collaboration. We can collaborate on each other's test and extend ideas. It's easy to share and collaborate. Let's start with an invitation to Test Project by entering a user that's already existing in the platform. Rex.Jones at testforsuccess.org. We are unable to share with the teammate, friend, or client that already exists. That's expected. The error message shows user already exists in the account. Now, I'm going to invite a different user. Rex Allen Jones at hotmail.com. Click next, make this user an administrator, then send the invitation. And we see here, invitation has been sent. Go to the email and instantly we see welcome to test project IO automation platform. That's all it takes to invite someone to test project. Next, let's look at how someone can share a test with me or you. Go back to Test Projects Share Center and select Share It With Me. So far we see two tests and we have the option of accepting the test or declining the test. If someone has already created a test, then it's very quick to share. I'm going to this blog by David that explains how to automate end-to-end -end API testing flows with test project has a bunch of tests and here's a table of contents that has six chapters and 13 examples i already have chapter one now i want chapter three api database test and that fast it's been updated to show three tests that have been shared with me, except the API database test, select AI self-healing technology, then hit save. Here's my project. With every test, after accepting the test, a local copy is created in my project. I can do whatever I want with the local copy. Also, if there is an update to the test, then I will get an indicator letting me know the project has been updated. Then I can make a decision. Now, I'm going to share one of my tests from Test Project. If I go to Share Center, then navigate to Shared by Me. We see nothing is here yet. 
I have not shared any test. Let's go back to my project. There are two ways to share a test. If I click this ellipsis for dynamic elements demo, we see share test and get direct link. Both options let us share with someone else. For example, share a test allows us to share by adding an email address or we can share the link. To share a link, we click this link here for display link. Then we can copy the link or we can click this icon, copy to clipboard. And we see that it has been copied to the clipboard. I am going to add the link to the video description so you can have it as your local copy. Although my test is different, you can still apply it to your unique scenario. We can share the link on blogs or social media without needing an email address. I'm going to close this wizard and click the ellipsis again. This time, I'm going to click Get Direct Link. And it's the same process. We can copy the URL. If Click Display Link was here, we can copy the display link or also this copy to clipboard. But this time, I'm going to select this icon to create a new link. This message says, let us know that it's an old link that will become invalid. The benefit of this share center is to take a test and share it across multiple accounts. Close this wizard and now go back to shared by me. And we see dynamic elements demo. There is one more way to invite a teammate, friend, or even a client. A company may have many clients, but only want to share a certain test with certain clients. They can go up top and select users. And here's the button to invite a team member. Enter Rex Allen Jones at gmail.com. Then select next. We would not make a client an administrator, but we can manage the permissions to access a project or a test. Last is the ability to generate code. Let me close this wizard and go back to my project. Notice this blue icon indicates it has been shared. To generate code, I'm going to click this ellipsis and select Generate Code. This here name can be changed if we wanted to, but I'm going to keep Java and then select Download. Open this zip file. And let me bring this all the way over to this other monitor and we're going to continue to open each folder until we get to the generated code. Bingo. We're almost there. Dynamic Elements Demo, open. I'm going to drag this over again. And here is the generated code from Test Project, which can help people expand their knowledge. That's it for Test Project's Share Center. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next session. If you're interested in more videos, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. You can also follow me on Twitter, connect with me on LinkedIn and Facebook. The transcript and code will get placed on GitHub. Thank you. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.